Cheers and welcome my friends. I'm Honor Drak and we are playing Europa Universalis 4 as um, Novgorod, as you may have guessed, with the newest expansion, the Cossacks. All the other expansions are also enabled. Um, <clears throat> I guess I should rather say Zdrastvoi i Privyet, moi drug. Minja zavut Horat Drak. Um, yeah, I took some, some Russian classes um, some time ago in high school. Um, yeah, that's what we're going to do. We take Novgorod and um, try to get some Cossacks for ourselves out here from the um, steppe. Let's have a look into our options. I have changed this to Frequent. Controls the chance of fantasy elements such as highly advanced native empires to appear in the random new world. Yeah, I find that a really good idea. And <coughs> I've gone ahead and activated the random new world. If you click on it, it takes some time to generate a random new world. They have said that they improved the random new world feature and we're going to try it out. So random new world is on. Um, we will try to do some colonizing ourselves. I have... Um, what is that? Difficulty AI. That's odd. Player. Um, yeah, we're going to put this on hard because it's the most fun. AI plays at its full skill level and reacts more harshly to player aggression vulnerability. Why not? Um, and this on hard difficulty, all AI nations gain the following bonuses. Yeah, that's that's an odd mix up with this, but um, we are giving bonuses to the AI. That's what I want, not to the player. Yeah, that gives them some insane bonuses like uh, land force limit modifier plus 50%, naval force limit modifier plus 50%, minus 2% um, interest on all their loans, a flat out 0.05% um, inflation reduction, minus 20% development cost. Yeah, this um, makes it a lot easier for the AI, but the AI is an AI, so... I don't want to be too hard on them. And we have historical lucky nations on. Just because one of the interesting things as Novgorod is try to keep up against uh, Moscovy, your biggest enemy. As you may know, <coughs> Ivan the Terrible um, raised um, the city of Novgorod to the ground, 15, 1570, if I remember correctly. And there was always a rivalry between uh, the... Merchant Republic of Novgorod and uh, the Princess of uh, Moscovy. And we are going to experience that firsthand. So, yeah, you've seen the options. That's what we're going to do. We take Random New World and let's just jump right in. We're going to play on normal mode because um, it makes it a bit easier for me to um, yeah, do all the recording directly so I can. Um, I know when one where one episode started and the in the other ended and, and all that stuff and I've also had some crashes with this game. Not a lot, but yeah, some. So I don't wanna overdo it. And as you can see we have Novgorod here, our capital province. It has already a pretty high development of twenty two. There's a river between this thing and everything, basically. Um, let's have a look at the uh, diplomatic situation. Yeah, if you if you want to uh, have a sort of a tutorial-like series, then please have a look at my the Hansa series, where I did um, a lot more in-depth uh, explanation of all the game mechanics and stuff. Um, I'm not going to do that here because we want to get going and have a look at the uh, expansion features and all that. So, what is the attitude of Sweden? Oh, they don't like us, they don't hate us. We're just heretics to them. So, they have cleaned up this interface. We could support the independence. They are loyal to Denmark, though. That's not good. That's not good at all. What are you? You're my rival. Okay. Lithuania is my rival. Poland is indifferent. They hate me. 
And I hate them. Yeah, I mean, that's not going to change. Tver is my rival. Yaroslav might, we might be able to ally them. We're going to change to the terrain map mode. It just looks prettier, so why not? Um, interesting. They're showing envoy travel time now. Okay, so everyone hates us. What about the Golden Horde? Yeah, we have to... We have to take this diplomatic feedback. That is a new thing. I will manage my attitude and we're going to be friendly to the Golden Horde because the enemy of my enemy is my friend. And I guess... Ooh, that is bad. That is bad. They should hate Muscovy, but they don't. They are simply not interested. That's not good. I'm willing to trust us somewhat. Hmm. Okay, fine. What about Kazan? I also don't hate Muscovy. Who, who hates you? We hate them, and Lithuania hates them. Oh no, they hit us. We haven't rivaled them back yet. I think we should do that. So, provinces of interest. These are automatically set. Oh yeah, I can, I can do all that. I'm going to set all the Russian region as our provinces of interest. <clears throat> the problem is we are in a very precarious situation because uh, Moscovy is a lot stronger than we are at the beginning. They are going to be our rival. They have 115% more army. So they have about 30k, I guess. That's not good. Now we're going to do it. We have a lot of enemies. Denmark, Lithuania, Livonian Order, Moscovy, and Tver. Yeah, everyone around hates us. <laughs> Fun. Fun. This is not going to be easy. Remove Tver from the map. That's actually pretty cool. I'm going to do that. Um, do we have a claim? Yeah, we have a claim. I'm going to do a day one declaration of war. How's our leader here? Grand Knias Efimi II, 342. He's already 52. Yeah, we're a merchant republic, so it doesn't really... What's that? Is that Scorched Earth? No. What is that? Hmm. Tooltip would be useful here. We're we going to make a general out of our leader. Yeah, it's not great. But he'll do, I guess. And we're going to attack Tver, but first we will wait. They are Muscle of Muscovy. They are a vessel of Muscovy, and Perm over here is also a vessel of Muscovy. And that's a big problem because they also deliver troops for... Uh, they, they have troops that they can use. We're going to be friendly towards Poland. Because we could really use them. Um, yeah, we're friendly towards them. What about the Teutonic Order? They don't really hate me. I could perhaps swing something with them. They hate me. Yeah, we'll try to be friendly with the Swedes. Um, Hungary. They are all indifferent. They don't care about me and they won't be much help. 
just can't help me that much because they don't border Muscovy. If you have a look at the diplomatic map, we have some provinces in the north. We border Sweden, Norway, the Livonian Order, Lithuania and Muscovy and all these states hate us. And Perm, they are also a vessel. Cannot, uh, let's see, we're going to manage our attitude towards them. We'll be friendly. No guy. Yeah, let's try. We, we could be friendly with one of these guys at least. Alright. We need Poland, so I will... I will send them an improved relations guy. We um, we need them, especially if they get the uh, personal union with Lithuania. We might be a bit safer. <coughs> We're going to do a day one declaration on Tver. Yeah, let's have a look into the military strength. Um, let's have a look at Moscovy. Where are you? Morocco, Muscovy. So they have 32,000 men because I've given them bonuses. They have 42 uh, force limit. So they are already double our strength. And it will get worse. I mean, we can go up to 19 support limit. And I guess we should perhaps use the estates. I don't have any estates. Are there no estates here? Do I only have factions? What? My type of government does not have estates? That's lame as hell, I gotta say. <laughs> I was hell-bent on having estates. Well, we're going to change our government type then. We're not going to stay Merchant Republic. We will um, switch as soon as we can. We'll try to elect a very young leader. And then we will get into a dictatorship, I guess. It's a bit sad because uh, Novgorod has a lot of good ideas. We haven't had a look at them. So we have lesser mercenary costs, plus one diplomatic reputation, and 20% fort defense if we gain all our ideas. We have plus one prestige, plus one missionary strength. strength and 0.5 Republican tradition. Um, plus one merchants. And national manpower modifier of plus 20%. Oh, that, that, that's both really good. We have the yearly naval tradition. And we have light ship costs. At a reduced rate. Yeah, I wasn't really prepared. That is kind of a bummer. Especially since I already have a really cool thumbnail for this series. That my wife put a lot of work in. Um, I'm not sure what we can do. I mean, yeah, the Merchant Republics already had their estates, but... Well, we're just going to switch our government form. It's nice to be a merchant republic, but uh, you know we don't have to be one. Um, we'll miss out on this really cool idea, but I guess we could get uh, could be another republic. Let's have a look at um, at the tech. When do we get the next republic? Level two. At level 12, we will be able to switch to an administrative republic. 
As earliest we can switch. That might be a good idea though, to do it at level 12. Yeah, that's fine. We, we can um, see enough of the new features with the um, diplomatic stuff and um, and all that. I'll have to look up if all the if all the republics don't have estates. I don't believe that because these factions are singular to the merchant republics. Um, it's fine. It's fine. We will manage. So what do we have? 10 and 4. I'm going to build some more knights. Although, yeah. Um, our strategy will be to rely heavily on the knights as our own troops and use um, these mercenary infantry as our only infantry. So we have the... because the, the knights are really expensive. They cost a lot of um, maintenance if you buy them as mercenaries. You can see they cost 0.5 and they cost um, 1.3 nearly. These cost 0.5, so we have um, can use them as our normal troops. Plus, that will not drain our manpower so fast. So yeah, uh, we're going to make an enemy out of the Livonian order, and also we're going to choose. Yeah, we're going to take Tver. Why not? I hate you. Uh, let's move over here. Of some power points. I think I'm going to spend that. Although, no, I shouldn't really. Capital City gets a reduced um, development modifier now. That's fine. You're going to do a day one declaration. I will improve my relations with Sweden. Those two are. Yeah, those two are my core provinces. We want them back as soon as possible, and also if we can below zero and Rushev. And if we can get also Twer and maybe free Pskov in our first war against Muscovy. Though well, we just need to take all their all their guys. Wonder if they will ally someone. No, we just we'll declare war on Twer. I hope this doesn't go too badly. I'm going to switch to the tutorial, territorial map mode. Let's get on with it. So they have allied. The first move of the Hansa is to break everything. What about the Hansa? I saw something in the dev diaries. Yeah, you're independent. The Hansa is only one province now, is it? Hmm, that's odd. Hmm. Interesting. In our last the Hansa game, these three provinces belong to them. Yeah, well, no problem. So there's going to be a battle here. That's one of the um, quality of life improvements that they made. And they are showing you where there will be a battle. Are you at war with Muscovy already? No, you aren't. We're friendly towards Poland. Who are your rivals? Ottomans, Teutonic Order, Austria. We should we should um, should really take someone for getting up our relations with Poland. Kill them. Do it. I'm going to build more knights. Can I do it? Oh no, I need. 25. Also, our income looking 3.7. We're going to raise war taxes. That would be nonsense. I'm not sure if we're going to survive this. We should, theoretically. Move in there. Oh, we're only going to do it with. What do you have? A capital fort? 
So we only need, I guess, 3,000 men. Should do it. So... We're going to send in 4,000. And the rest can go back to Novgorod. Our leader has a point in... What is it? Siege. Yeah, he has a point in siege. So that's good. We'll speed up the siege of this thing. Are you at war already? No, you aren't. Yeah, we we have to prepare for the war against Muscovy. We have to go again over our force limit. I want to sell these ships. Hmm. No, we will protect trade in Novgorod. Oh yeah, we have one more merchant that we can use. What are we doing at the moment? Collecting in White Sea, transferring to... Oh, we cannot reach Kazan, it seems. Yeah, our trade range is too... too small. Yeah, we'll send our last guy to collect here. <coughs> it might bring us something. Do we have at the moment... 4 and point 0.3. Lithuania is embargoing us. I'm going to embargo Muscovy back. We're not going to embargo Lithuania. I hope that they will end up in the personal union with Poland. That would be a good thing. Uh, we will... I guess fabricate claims. Pskov is now locating us. All right. Fine then. Be that way. We shall should speed this up. <coughs> Venice conquering Albania. These guys are threatening our trade. It's all fine. The only thing that we have going for us is that we have so much money, or could have much money. Can we not sell... Oh no, we are at war. We cannot sell our ships at the moment. Should have done that before. We don't really need ships. We are land power. We are Russia, after all. Um, This is going, this is going okay. I guess I have to end the episode here. I want to keep these at about 20 minutes. In the next episode we're going to gobble up Twer, I hope. Uh, Moscow is already warning them. They have 20,000 men over here. <coughs> There's not a fort in there. Oh, there is. We might be able to take this stack out. That would be good. But we could also just try to overwhelm their main stack. Oh, they have another godlike leader with 343. Three. Right at the beginning, because they are a lucky nation. Yeah, this is not going to be very easy. But I think it should be fun for us to try and do something that's rather difficult. <laughs> um... And let's fabricate a claim on Belozero. It would be fun to take Moscow, uh, Moscow from them in the war. That would split their lands, take their capital. Well, I guess not. I like the new uh, thingy that shows how many men you have. Yeah, but as I said, I have to end this episode. In the next episode, we're going to conquer Twer and prepare for the war against Muscovy. Fear not, you are going to see the estates. I just have to switch my government form in one way or another. I'm going to do that very soon, either by tech or by um, falling into a Republican dictatorship. Either way, it's going to be fun. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please give me a like. If you didn't, please tell me why in the comments. And if you want to see more of this series in the future, then please consider subscribing. Hope you join me next time. Thanks and bye-bye.